Hello, I'm Mayor Barbara Del Glaze, and welcome to our new series called Flashback. In the early 1990s, our city filmed a number of interviews in a series entitled Reflections of Former Mayors. Recently, several of these films have been found to exist, but sadly in a completely obsolete and inviewable format. Thanks to the generous grant from the California Revealed Initiative of the State Library, these films have been digitized, preserved, and made available for viewing once again. The current film features Ernest H. Geisler, our mayor from 1960 to 1962. Born in 1905 in Huntington Beach, the son of a Swiss-German speaking immigrants, he lived his entire life here and in his father's footsteps, he became a successful farmer and rancher in many years that followed because of the agricultural still dominating the local economy. He was active in civic affairs throughout his long life, especially with regard to water management issues in the Southland. Not long after the interview, Ernest Geisler passed away. He was 90 years old. Thank you for watching and enjoy this episode of Flashback. Hello and welcome to Reflections by Former Huntington Beach Mayors, brought to you by the City of Huntington Beach, Cable Channel 3. I'm Dr. Tom Cooper, your host for this program. It's my pleasure to introduce to you our guest today, the Honorable Former Huntington Beach Mayor, Ernest H. Giesler. Welcome, Ernie. We Thank really you. appreciate you being with us here today. Very uh, happy to. And I've enjoyed, uh, we've been talking a little bit off camera, and I've really <laughs> enjoyed the, the opportunity to to uh, talk about some things and, and find out uh, one uh, very, very interesting fact. And, and we've uh, interviewed some other mayors and uh, uh, one uh, person we talked to, Bob Mandick, we said, well, he was one of the few mayors that was actually born in Huntington Beach. Uh -huh. yeah. But that's sort of the modern era. We find right. out that you were born in Huntington Beach in March 15th, 1905. That's right, yes. Uh -huh. What was it like here in Huntington Beach when uh, uh, you were growing it, up? It, it, it was a beautiful little old city. Um, we, we lived uh, in the flats east of Huntington Beach on the corner of Atlanta and Newland Street. Uh, right? Uh, it would be the southwest corner off of Atlanta. And uh, uh, that was our dad's fine ranch was. And uh, we had a he had dairy there. We had horses in that part of the va valley. He raised sugar beets and one thing or another, you know. And uh, uh, when I have also, uh, I'll cut this as short as I can, but when I, I've been uh, going out and giving stories, uh, the, the history there, uh, the, uh, they'd be taping me, why, they'd, uh, the children, uh, above all, well, did you ever play? Did you ever play? What did you do in the summer? I says, yes, children. We went right down here to the uh, beach on, uh, it'd be probably west of the pier, and, uh, but go swimming on, on a Sunday, on a Sunday, maybe sometimes on Saturday. And when we'd come out halfway freezing cold with these crazy old big wool bathing suits, you know, and <laughs> I, Did you have a surfboard then too? <laughs> and uh, no such a thing as surfboards there. Uh, uh, that, that also brings back memories. We, um, our brothers uh, would take us out in those breakers, and I'll tell you would we ever get dumped. And we took it, believe it or not, but uh, never was there such a thing as surfboards then. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I... Uh, uh, I remember when I first moved to Huntington Beach, we moved down in the southeastern section of the city, and 
the housing track where I was located, right there south of Adams, uh, actually, uh, it was all truck gardening and, and all farming. We could see all the way to the Huntington Beach Pier, I mean, uh, to uh, Edison Plant. Yeah. Now, on a clear day, you could almost see the pier in which you could see Catalina Island. That's, that's, so I can imagine what it would have been like when you were growing up down in that area. Uh, that must have been super. You Did you go to the, uh, what city schools uh, did you the, attend? Uh, the Huntington Beach Grammar School, uh, which went down uh, in, uh, I think it was a 33, well, it uh, didn't completely go down, but in uh, 1933, I went there through there. Then I graduated and I went to, High school for a while. Huntington Beach. Uh, hun Huntington Beach, yes, okay. high, high. And then I finally moved to Santa Ana. And uh, dad's uh, on, on, we lived on South uh, Ross Street. But anyway, uh, I, I was 16, 17 years old then. And dad sent me to, uh, mom sent me to co uh, college, McCormick College on North Main Street. Uh, for quite some time, they wanted me uh, uh, and to finish finishing that course to uh, work for Bry Williams in the First National Bank. Oh, fine and dandy! I went to this college, and I'll tell you that it was fine teaching and everything, but it was no place for me for uh, for no way, <laughs> shape, or form. I got itchy pants. I finally quit while the folks was over in Europe. Uh, went on, uh, went out to the ranch and worked for my brothers. And uh, when my folks come home, said so these dad says, "Well, are you ready to go to work for the First National Bank in Santa Ana, Brian Williams?" I said, "No way, shape, or form, Dad." I says, "I I'm not an office man or <laughs> uh, any way, shape, or form." Well, he says, "You'll have to go to work for a, a year or two, and then when my your brother Alan." Uh, we acquire more land while you can go to farming. And that was right down where the Edison High School is now and uh, Bouchard Street and quite a chunk of land there. So we, we farmed there uh, for a, uh, quite a, a few years and uh, we, we rented a nice piece of chunk of land uh, for uh, three or four, uh, four years. And in the meantime, uh, the land, uh, uh, belonged to some heirs up in Los Angeles. So anyway, we told the, the Tile Insurance and Trust Company that we don't, didn't uh, want to buy that land, but if they ever did, why well, give us first chance? We, we, they did, uh, time come, and uh, we went fine for a few years. We hit that depression, and I'll tell you, we had rough going. Everybody knows what that uh, depression was. But we stayed with it, and then we made it through, and God, uh, farm there, uh, it, it takes 35 or 40 years before you can get over the hill of farming. And uh, finally then the population explosion comes in the fl uh, flats, in that flat valley there, Talbert Valley, you know. And uh, 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 in, in the buildings, I, I remember uh, down on Adams and Atlanta Street, uh, the first uh, plot that was uh, homes was built down there it was Jim D uh, Beam and Ben Dean prop uh, well no it, it was a uh, farmer's property mm -hmm. Ed Farner's property but it was it belonged to uh, or Jim Deem and, uh, Dean and Ben Dean uh, was uh, the builders and uh, uh, dividers and now they are, are out in down down our way but pretty close to Imperial Valley <laughs> so you mentioned Imperial Valley once uh, uh, the the ranch, as you called, or the farming area down there, uh, became subdivided, and the population growth occurred. Then uh, you you moved some of your enterprises or your business out to the Imperial Valley area. Uh, 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 tax wise, yes. Uh, see, uh, <laughs> we uh, we were uh, my uh, that land. Uh, I shouldn't say that. We we bought uh, uh, no the the school. Uh, property, uh, it it paid us thirty five thousand dollars an acre for uh, fourteen acres right off of the bat. You that know. was a lot of money. A, a lot of money. Yeah. Holy mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was too much. But and, and uh, then uh, <laughs> gradually the buildings start coming closer. You know, they built the school. Well, they had to. You know, and the ch children come about. 
We sold a little bit more land, a little bit more land all the time. I shouldn't say this, and we had money every place. Well, we didn't want to put it all in one bank. That's not, not good uh, <laughs> business. So a anyway, uh, had it for, uh, finally had to get, uh, give up altogether. In the, uh, in the meantime, they, they had, uh, this was back to 25, 30 years ago. Well, they still have it, such as the act as the Williamson Act. And this uh, Willis Williamson Act, uh, if you can get, uh, uh, get your covered that way, well, you, uh, they give you 10 years to farm and all the surrounding property, they just uh, uh, graduate uh, the taxes accordingly uh, as the taxes went up, you know. Well, mm -hmm. anyway, I belong to the Farm Bureau, I still do. I was a strong Farm Bureau ma member. So they sent me right down here to the city council, city of Huntington Beach. And uh, I explained what our problem was and we wanted to keep farming and uh, that we'd like to go under that Williams Act for, for at least 10 years. They says, told us me right out, right. I took it back to the, the officers and says, uh, Geisler, you just as well give up. It's gonna get to you sooner or later. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> and it did, yeah. Yes, well, uh, somewhere along the line, you met a, a lovely lady that became your bride for uh, some nearly 50 years until her yeah, recent yeah, that's uh, death. Right, that's right. Uh, uh, yes. where, uh, where did you meet her? I, I, met, I met her down in uh, Balboa, California, and it happened to be a blind, blind date, believe it or not. I, I, uh, I have to tell this little story. I Go suppose ahead. I can. <laughs> uh, I, I had went back a little bit earlier. In 1938, uh, my brother-in-law and sister uh, and my niece, we, uh, I went, went back to get a uh, Buick 38 Special. Okay. Went back and had a nice trip, by golly, uh, back through the country and, and come back. And so on the ranch there, when I, I was living there by myself, I had a fella, young fella, a friend of mine. He lives in, uh, uh, in Westminster now. Uh, he lost his wife here a while back. But anyway, he come out this one Saturday afternoon. And of course, I was washing that pretty 38 special Buick up, you know, and he says, uh, how about going out tonight? I said, okay, you get me a girl. We will. So by golly, uh, he knew another girl down at Valbos. So that night we went, uh, uh, went out and uh, had, an, uh, had a nice even, uh, evening with Sally and the, the other couple with us, you know, took in a show. We come back home and I just dropped everything. I, I forgot about her, you know. So in the meantime, things come back to, to your mind, and I said, I've got, I remembered uh, the, the, the Maxwells that she was with was down in Balboa, and had a nice place right on the bay, and I called the Maxwells, and I, uh, this Mrs. Maxwell, uh, I said, Mrs. Maxwell, do you have a girl here working for you by the name of uh, Nellie? And she said, no, I don't got her the Nellie, but I got her the Sally. <laughs> I said, that's the girl I want. So we, uh, uh, we went together, and finally, uh, the year and a half, we got married and lived right on the ranch there, and even raised our daughter out there on Atlanta. Well, we moved to Atlanta and Bush Hart mm -hmm. then, you know, yeah. Uh, and you mentioned you have a daughter. What is her name? Uh, uh, Nancy. Nancy Marie Alfano, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And Nancy lives here in Huntington Beach? Uh, she lives on, on 11th Street, only three blocks from me, and uh, she has uh, uh, three, three, uh, two girls and, and one boy, little St uh, Stephen, and uh, I have to go to the high school ever so often, which all uh, is uh, only natural. You've got to see what your kiddos are doing there, and he's a wrestler, and I get a, quite a kick out of him here. Uh, a week or two ago, he won, and he come up, oh boy, his shoulders was really out there. But the next week, why, he uh, he come back, and uh, Poppy says, I lost. I says, Steve, you can't win them all. You just <laughs> take it and leave it. This is Huntington Beach High School? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes IHB High. And the other uh, two grandchildren? Uh, 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 Celeste, she's in high, high school also, mm -hmm. and uh, she's trying to... Uh, 
uh, she's having a little problem with her studying one thing or another, but uh, she's a little bit mixed up. I think she'll make it. And uh, we ha uh, have a little old Angela. She's a 13-year-old girl, and that little kid, boy, does she like her books and studying and so forth and so on, you know, you bet. Yeah. When, uh, when you first thought about running for the city council, now you first were elected to the city council in 1960, and you served for eight years. Uh, when you first got on the city council, you were mayor for two years, and at that time, yes. uh, mayor's terms were, were two years, and there were only five members of the city council, too, when you That's first right. mm -hmm. began. What, what were some of the issues that, uh, that were involved, uh, that you were involved with here in Huntington Beach, and, and did your family participate with you when you ran as far as the uh -huh. city council was concerned? Uh, well, uh, first of all, they, they worked with me awful good, and if I may say one thing, when I ran for city council, we had these big companies. I, I guess I better not mention their name. Uh, <laughs> and, and they send me uh, money. They send checks, uh, you know, for my uh, running for city council and one thing or another. My wife, she was a conservative uh, uh, rascal, much younger than me, she says, Dad, we're, we're not taking a cent of that money. We sent, us, uh, sent every cent right back to, to them. And we carried on. And uh, I, I was, was unhappy prior to that time, the way the city council was going, you know. And so they was all pushing me like crazy. So when I, uh, 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 after I run, I, I'll, I will say, they sure did go over the top for me. So in the meantime, that's when the, uh, when we had to, uh, uh, we was all settled in, uh, voted in, and had our meetings. Well, they said, "Well, here, here's this Geisler. He he received the most votes, so that's where we're going to put him in the hot seat." And I'll tell you, <laughs> it was rough for a while. By golly, oh, don't. yeah. Most people, I think, when they uh, serve a term as mayor, they've had a an opportunity to be on the city council for uh, oh, a oh, short while, but you were in <laughs> just a matter of a few days, oh, and you oh, became... Oh, my, I never yes. believed, and I, I, uh, I never did uh, want it, by golly, but the, you, they says, you got it, you're going to take it. I says, okay, uh, uh, Bud Higgin was our, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, captain of the fire station then, you know, and he was a big help to me. Well, he, he was a native of Huntington Beach, you know, but anyway, I says, I'll carry on. And uh, in our council, as our council meetings process, uh, uh, started, why, every, we met every uh, Monday morning, well, t uh, t two times a month, and we, we received our agenda the night or two before. Then on a Monday morning, uh, yeah, uh, for, we'd have a, a go over all, all this agenda, you know, and then Monday night we'd have our meetings, and then, uh, then we'd carry on from there. And I, I did enjoy uh, that, uh, being on the city council. I was relieved after <laughs> my term come up from the, to being the mayor because uh, there, you, you know there's no end to it. You've got to uh, uh, go to these meetings and one thing and another. And uh, lots of times, we, uh, my wife and I, we were being invited out to the Elks here and there to go different places to nice uh, affairs. And I'd say, I just can't do it, honey. And she says, why? And I said, well, I, I got to be at that meeting. And believe you me, there's very few of these meetings it's all these years that I was in the city council I never did miss, you bet. And it's the best education I ever had, and I'm not sorry about it. About it. After that, I, I went out. I had all kinds of people contact me. Mayor, why don't you get back in there again? I said, no, I've had enough. I, and my wife, he says, too, you know, you betcha, because she worked with me. She was very good at it. You bet. Good. Yeah, those first two years when you were mayor, uh, there was some phenomenal growth that occurred there. The city of Huntington Beach was growing uh, through the whole 60s and the, into the 70s, 10 oh. or 15,000 uh, people a year. Uh -huh. And I understand there was some annexation that also resulted uh, as a part of that. Uh, what were some of the other issues that you can recall that occurred back then that got you involved? Was, was there anything about downtown business or, uh, or it, downtown it, development uh, or anything? It was downtown, uh, not uh, as much as uh, I will explain a, a, a little later, <clears throat> or we'll get into it, but uh, 
uh, our big uh, program seemed like at that, at, at that time was parks, parks. And the people would come to, uh, to the meetings, you know, and uh, uh, at night, you know, and they wanted nothing but parks, parks. And I said, uh, listen, uh, I says, uh, we have a, a little kid too, and uh, uh, she likes to play in the parks, but I says, uh, you people must remember, these parks are going to cost money. And we carried on and on, and uh, uh, I finally give in. I said, well, uh, all the, these parks are going to be used sooner or later. So it, it was uh, in a, in an interesting case pertaining to these parks, you bet. So yeah. those were, uh, what, probably Lake and, uh, and Circle? Uh, uh, oh, yes, all, yeah. uh, all, all those. Yeah, you then, bet then Senator Murty. Uh, uh, Senator Murty's Park, too, yeah. you bet, I should say, yes. Uh huh. And you yeah. got off the council just about the time that uh, the uh, city got involved in a bond issue for a large park e expansion uh, program, and yeah. I know that you were involved in some of that prior to uh, your getting off the council. That, that's right, yes. And now you have a park name for you here uh, in the city. Uh, <laughs> and a school. Yeah, uh, yeah that's <laughs> Even though the school no longer is, uh, <laughs> has uh, students, as I understand it, uh, it's uh, it perhaps, uh, well, maybe you can talk about that. You had mentioned that you've gone down and visited that school uh, whenever I, I it was in session. I went down there a lot, and, and uh, uh, when... The last meeting, that, well, uh, uh, the graduation doings there, uh, uh, oh my, those kids, uh, they practically made me cry, by golly, because they were, they stood up and they roared and, and hollered and, well, Geisler, what do you want to close this school for? Well, this is our school, by golly. And I said, well, children, I'm sorry, it, it was up to the board and we don't have enough children there, so we just have to close it. And maybe it'll come back later and maybe it don't. Uh, uh, won't so it it might I, I don't know I couldn't say I I do go down there and drive by once in a while and some of my friends want to know where the uh, Geisler school is and we go down there and look it over <laughs> as you think back during your term of office is there anything really uh, special that that stands out I know you mentioned the special feeling that that you felt that it was a good experience, but are any special events that occurred that uh, that you recall? Well, it it uh, it, uh, it was uh, pertaining to the growth of the city. Mm -hmm. I, I will say that I, I found out that I, <laughs> that I I couldn't be on a standstill. Uh, I mean, be, uh, it cost us money. We, we the taxes had to be raised uh, for the growth of the city and uh, all these different. Businesses coming in uh, around the country and uh, all things. Uh, so we want we wanted the city to grow, and it did. I should say so. I believe uh, Douglas came in during. Uh, the time oh that yes, you were there. and uh, yeah. we were there at that time too. Douglas, you bet. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, we all met with him. Uh, how about uh, you mentioned parks, and I think of uh, one of the things out by the Central Park is the mushroom farm. Uh -huh. I think that uh, in looking back over some of the minutes, I can recall that that from time to time you had discussions about some things that occurred out there. Do you recall anything special about the mushroom farm? Any problems? Uh, uh, or th anything? There, w uh, there was. Uh, uh, we knew this uh, Vic DiStefano real well when uh -huh. he owned that mushroom farm, you know, and and he. Uh, he says, uh, I don't want to sell now, uh, but I will sell later, by golly. So uh, uh, between uh, kicking it all around and back and forth with the city and one thing or another, they, he, he, uh, and this is after I went out, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I did say, uh, uh, it's like even like a surrounding territory when we were farming out in the flats and uh, their homes come all around us. Well, there was dust making with our farm equipment, one thing or another. And some of the farms, we had a rough time uh, uh, with our homeowners there, you know. And so this was pertaining to the same thing to the mushroom farms. Uh, uh, there, is, there is a smell, although they hold it down pretty good. But I <laughs> said, eventually, they're going to have to go too. That's all there is to it, you bet. When you look back, is there anything that you would say, well, I sure wouldn't do that again, or would you do everything the same way? Uh, I, th I think I would, 
I, I would do everything pretty well the same way. You bet. I should say so. Yes. Any advice or suggestions uh, that you might want to make to the people who are on the city council right now? Uh, well, uh, for an example, that downtown uh, problem we have down there, I had some nice, uh, uh, I have a lot of friends come and visit me uh, uh, during the evening, you know, and uh, there was two or three ladies come over and, and we've had a nice visit and talking uh, well, about the, uh, the strip downtown. Well, uh, Mr. Geisler, what do you think? about high-rise down there, she says, the problem they're having. And then they was telling me what come over the news the other night. I says, holy mackerel. I says, I'll tell you, to tell you the truth, uh, they sh there's about two blocks of all those buildings should go. And, and I says, I, I know, I, I do understand the owners do not like that. Well, uh, I can uh, agree with them in a way, shape, or form, but they must remember, we, we didn't mm -hmm. like uh, the, uh, the homes coming in down there. <laughs> what, were we, what was we going to do? There was no alternative. Uh, they're going to get you sooner or later. We had dairymen out there. Uh, they can't run us out. I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> these, the a population explosion, these people come, and, and uh, you can't keep that smell down. So they have to make a change. <laughs> so that's one thing I will say. Uh, and. Uh, uh, like they telling me about what's going on downtown, I, I really uh, didn't know that too much. But it, it doesn't need a cleaning up. I, I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I'd like to see a lot of uh, even uh, right down on uh, uh, pretty close to Ocean Avenue when Jack Cleveland, well, he was our one of our good men there. Uh, we had to go around and look at some of those buildings that's there, and and they were cracked and one thing and another. Mm -hmm. And I said, Jack, they got to go. That's all there's to it. You're darn right. So. So you support the, uh, the development of that area as soon as possible, then? Oh, oh, oh really? I should say so. I'm for it very much, you bet your life. You bet. Our time is just about up, and I was wondering if there's anything that we haven't covered that you'd like to comment on. Uh, uh, we could probably talk for hours uh, oh, that, and reflect that's... about all the things that occurred here in Huntington Beach as you were growing up. Is there anything that that you wanted to mention or you'd like to say? The, the only, only thing, I, I was real happy when we moved in into town, uh, 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 Main and Crest Street, and my wifey was real happy there, and our daughter, uh, she went to Modern Day High School and then Mount St. Mary's in, uh, in Hollywood, you know, mm -hmm. got her good education, and uh, we settled there for a good many years, and uh, I I enjoy, I like, uh, people told me, well, when, Ernie, when are you going to move down to the valley? Uh, believe it or not, we, we have a heavenly weather here. Uh, uh, in summer, it gets hot in the Imperial Valley. And, and uh, so, uh, of course, we have air conditioned everything down there. But I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just stuck here for good old Hang Beach. And I'm <laughs> more happy to be here and uh, with, the, with the people. As well, time. listen, and, and I, for one, am appreciative of all the contributions that you have made in the city. And it's just been an invaluable uh -huh. uh, resource. And, and your leadership here in the city over the development, particularly in that early, early growth time, was, uh -huh. was really appreciated. And that's when I got involved. And I, uh -huh. I always thank you for that. And, and I really appreciate you being here with us today. Well, I, I enjoyed it very much. You're darn right. I see. Mm -hmm. I, I think I've completed what I want to say. I, I, and uh, what, oh, I could go on and on. I did like that five-man city council. Uh, <laughs> uh, after all, uh, Noble Wade, even he'll talk once in a while. <laughs> and, uh, of course, poor Pinky Wells is gone now. Tom Welch is gone. Uh, those, uh, those poor fellows, uh, they couldn't take it. But, uh, uh, it did. Uh, it didn't hurt me. I says I'm on there, and I, I was. I will say, I, I I was for the people. I got in there, mm -hmm. and not to see how much money I could make, but for the good of the uh, the taxpayer, that, because they put us on there. Every, oh, all good. all you good people. Good. You bet. And on that note, we want to thank you for letting us come into your home with this program, and and a special thanks to our honorable former mayor Ernie Giesler. This program has been produced by the City of Huntington Beach Cable Channel 3, and in the weeks to come, we'll be looking at the highlights and the lives of other past mayors of Huntington Beach. We hope you'll join us. 
This is Dr. Tom Cooper bidding you good day. Thank you.